Bears. Five yard penalty brings the ball back to the 20 yard line. I'm Zach Jackson. I'm Will Jackson. And our home is Chinquapin, North Carolina. We've been playing football since seventh grade. So I think this is our fifth season or sixth yeah. season. I play cornerback and wingback. And uh, yeah. I play the same thing. Come on, block that man, 54. Do you think that's because you're twins? Yes. <laughs> we're type one diabetics, so we're having to manage uh, our blood sugar to make sure it's not too high or too low so we can uh, still play. I'm Karen Jackson. And I'm Jarrett Jackson. We're the parents of Will and Zach. The boys both have been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune illness that um, affects the beta cells in the pancreas, makes them, kills them off essentially, and so they do not produce insulin. I was five when I was diagnosed. I remember being in the hospital, I was very sick, and then they just told me I had diabetes. I was kind of like, you know, okay, I'm five, so I don't know what that means. It was still kind of tough seeing, like, you know, having to see Will have it all those years. I had to start giving shots and sticking needles in me like three or four times a day. Freaking like eight times a day. So that was kind of hard on me. It's like a little kid. And I never really thought I was going to get it, but yeah, then I did. So I already kind of knew a lot more. Make sure when you um, when you eat lunch that you get some protein in there. And then the, the constant concern about hypoglycemia, them going really low, bottoming out. Diabetes, it's relentless. You know, it doesn't give you any day off. So uh, for me to see the boys out there, um, their strength and resiliency to press on and not let diabetes hold them back, I, I admire that in them tremendously. Is this what you normally do? You're going to check? What are you Yeah, doing? I'm going to check right now because we just ate. And then after that, it's gonna, I'm going to see what it is right now so I can go ahead and give a correction if I need some insulin, if I maybe need some more food. 366, it's a little high. <laughs> get too high, I gotta sit them out. They get too low, I gotta sit them out. We gotta get them you know, pretty much stable. Jack, let's get your sugars before half, all right? Go, go, go. Trader Michael's very good with it because he'll, you know, he'll get you taken care of and he won't let you on the field until you're good to go. 288, you're, you're running a little high. Hop on your pump for halftime, all right? Well, high is very much of a, you're very thirsty, your, your body might start to cramp a little bit. Don't hydrate at all, or if you don't, you know, give the right amount of insulin, you can go high and you get really sick. If we get dehydrated, that could be a hospital trip. The way I look at it, I can do anything a normal person can, so. I'm not gonna try to have it be a limiting factor, so I'm just gonna push through it and enjoy and do what I wanna do. For a lot of like younger kids who get it, like it, they might not know what it's like and they'd be scared of it, so I hope they can look at us and see it. this doesn't really stop you or anything.